Hey guys, Jared Murray of Clickbait here. Now the other day you saw Tanya Chapman, also of Clickbait, show you how to K-pop dance. I'm not going to do that. That requires far more coordination than I have. And most of the things that I do are far nerdier. So today, I'm going to give you a quick foosball lesson. Quick how to beat someone for drinks at the bar in foosball. Now, like most sports, the game is played in two phases. First, you got offense. That's these front two bars right here. And you got defense. That's these back two bars, or as you can see them right here. That allows you to play the game a couple of different ways. First, you can play singles, which is where you play all four bars. It takes a little more coordination. Or you can play doubles. That's, that's usually how I play, and it's how I place the best where one of you takes offense and the other plays back on defense. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of all of it. Okay, you ready? Here we go. All right, defense has two bars. Okay, you got this front bar that has two men and this rear bar that has three. Now these far guys on the edge, you'll notice they can't actually reach the goal, so they're not much good for defending. I think they're really just here to get balls out of the corner. So let's forget about them for a second. Which means that the three guys you're going to worry about the most are the two men here and this guy here. Now let's examine the goal. I like to think of the goal in thirds. Just separate it into three parts. The near post, the middle, and the far post. So near, near hole, middle hole, far hole. Here's the problem for defenses and why defense is really the hardest part of the game to play and I, I don't play it very much. With these three guys you can really only block two of the three spots. You can only block two of the three holes, which means he's always got at least one place to go with the ball. So there are two schools of thought playing defense. And again, I'm not a defensive specialist, but there are two schools of thought. The first is, is to block two of the three and force him to go to the one you've left open. That way you know where he's going. If you block the middle and the near post, you know he's going to go far post. You, that's all he has open. And then you can try to drop in there last minute and block the shot. That often works. That works for a lot of people. Now, with a high percentage shot, like a snake shot, like the rollover shot, your better bet is to drop in and out of the spots. In other words, you know that he's so fast, he hits his shot so often, you have a better chance of stopping it if you don't let him know where he's going. And last but not least, the part that matters the most for us offensive players, actually getting the ball into the goal. Now, there are several different kinds of shots. Um, beginners will use a push, where you push the ball and hit it, or a pull, where you pull the ball and hit it. Uh, a little more advanced shot, this is the shot that I use, high percentage shot. It's called the snake shot, it's a rollover shot. And in other words, you pin the man, you pin the ball under your middle man, right dead center. Don't you get a little Remember what we talked about, far post, can you see my, there we go. Far post, middle post, near post. Okay, so let's assume the defense sets up blocking the far post, the middle post, and leaves you the open near post, okay? The idea with this shot is, again, they call it the snake shot or the rollover shot, is to roll and hit. Let's see if I can do that a little. You roll and hit, okay? So it looks a little something when it goes quick, like this. Now, let's opposite. Let's say he blocks the far post, middle post, and leaves you this guy right here. Okay? Then you do the exact same thing, but instead of pulling, you push. So it'd go a little something like this. Push side is always the more difficult side. When you've hit them near post, and you've hit them far post, they will eventually try to cheat and try to... Here, I'm trying to fix this for you a little bit. They'll try to cheat, and they'll try to cover... They'll try to do this. They'll try to cover outer and inner, but they can't do that. They don't realize they can't do that, and it'll leave you the middle. And then when they leave you the middle, you don't have to push or pull. You just... Anyway, go out and continue to foos, and I hope this has been helpful. Come to Clickbait, July 11th through 22nd, and see all kinds of useless internet stuff just like this.